Steve Murray, brother of, joins us now, Michael. Uh, Steve, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you, Darren and Michael? Hello, Steve. Really well. Now, tell us about a new single you've just released and what the story is. Well, before I do that, I'm just going to mention Todd Rundgren. Um, I mean, I love that song, um, and I didn't even realise the story that you, uh, before that you told about him getting robbed at, uh, in his house. So that's quite interesting. But um, obviously, Todd and Ted are very close, aren't they, in regards to names? Yeah. So I just thought I'd bring that up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, Todd yeah, and Ted. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, I love Steve, Todd Rundgren. Yep. Steve uh, getting to know John Paul Young over the years, he yeah. has often said to me that your brother. Uh, yeah. is one of the nicest guys the world ever put breath into. And I was telling Michael Veach off air, and he said, I'll see you that story, yeah. and I'll raise you another one. Tell tell uh, Steve your story. Uh, Steve, when I was doing Fast Forward and Ted Emery, our beloved, uh, another Ted, the, the director, who he was also the, the director of Countdown. He worked with Molly for yeah. years and years. If anyone can work with Molly, I'm not quite sure, but they, <laughs> he, he did his best to corral our dear beloved Molly, but... When we were on Fast Forward, I think we, we, we did a little bit of a satire of Jump in My Car and it was all just like, you know, denim and hair and smelly <laughs> armpits and beards and and cans of... <laughs> I think we were falling over cans of beer on the stage. Terrible, terrible slander of your wonderful brother. But he said... That's what the show was about. Well, that was the show was about. Yeah. But we asked Ted, so what, what were they like, those guys? And Ted just said he was... Of all the people in rock and roll in Australia, and there were some wild cards there, he was an absolute gentleman. Yep. He was an absolute gentleman. So there you go. You're good it's stock, nice mate. Him. Yeah. And John, John himself is a nice fella too. I've known John Paul Young, or John Young as he was when I met him. Yeah. Um, in 1969, I met him. Uh, late 69, I think it was, a very early 1970. Um, he actually came to our house. We lived at a place called Filmia, and he visited and... Uh, of course, I was only about 10 at the time, I think, 9 or 10, yeah. 9, yeah. And, um, yeah, so I've known John for all that time, and I still see him occasionally now. Oh, um, yeah, no, he's a good man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, they yeah. were huge. The, the Ted Murray gang were a very, very big band back in the day, weren't they? Very popular. Um, same as Sherbet. You know, they, they were sort of um, – I know when they did tours together, Sherbet and, and TMG, in New South Wales, I think Sherbet were the headliners. But when they went to Queensland, TMG were the headline because they were a little bit bigger band right. um, in, in Queensland. But um, yeah, TMG were, were quite well, quite well known. And, and what 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 is a little bit annoying these days? I got to tell you guys. You know, when I'm on social media and, and people put posts up and say, "Who was your favourite band from the '70s?" Probably one person puts Ted Mulry Gang up, and hundreds will put the Angels. And hundreds will put sherbet, and so they don't get much of a mention. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was great. Day. Daddy Cool, I used to love yeah. Daddy Cool, and yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. And that's, yeah. they were indeed. And and tell us about your latest project, uh, Steve. Yeah. Okay. So the the um, the, the, the single that's been released, uh, La La, um, which will is off of an album which will be out later in the year, uh, and that album is called It Is What It Is. Rock on. Um, <laughs> But, but the uh, yeah, the single La La was, in fact, the whole album was written by Les Hall, uh, who, of course, is an original member of TMG. Um, and uh, it's uh, a slightly a dark track, I should I, I should call it. I mean, it, it's quite a happy tune, but the actual uh, lyrical content is a little bit dark. Uh, uh, Les wrote that whilst he was watching uh, a show, a TV show, about the drug cartels in um, Southern America. And so, um, you know, um, south of the border of America. And uh, in regards to um, women and children and, and exploitation and things like that. So that's what the song's actually about. Um, and the La La is about the, the girl, the young girl, who, to take her mind off the terrible things that are happening to her in her community, uh, she sings in her mind uh, uh, just a melody, a tune, which is la, 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 la. So that she sings that just to get her away from her everyday okay. life and that's what the song's about so yes it's not a, it's not a love song guys it's not a love song how it's many musical song. mulrays are there um steve uh oh look jeez oh, if i if i go back now they're just the two of us <laughs> just the two of you uh, steve. yeah 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 uh, my, my dad uh, in the early days in in uh, in england could play uh, he, he could play trumpet and my mum could sing as well, but she, uh, you know, there you she go. In, the club and, in the jeans. Yeah, in the club and now and again would sing, yeah, yeah. So nothing professional, but um, yeah, 
they were involved for sure. Now, Steve, we have yeah. the we have the single. When's the album coming out? It will be later in the year. I haven't been given an exact date um, as yet, um, but it, it won't be too much longer. Um, and also, I don't know if you guys know that there was a another uh, sort of album released earlier this year, which was uh, for the um, Australian Road Crew Association, uh, which um, was a TMG live at the Fairfield Hotel in 1982, and that that was. Um, <laughs> It was called the Death Take series, and that was a, it, that was released as well. Okay. People still a, talk about that night yeah, that's right. live at Fairfield, <laughs> eighty two. <laughs> Steve, thanks for joining us on the program. This is La La. Uh, good luck with the album. We'll look out for its release date, and uh, hopefully, we'll talk again. Great, thanks for talking to me, guys. It's uh, really, really nice to talk to you for the first time. Good on you, good Steve, Steve. Mulry. And this is La La, the single from the yet-to-be-released album. Steve Mulry, the latest single, La La. Check it out on 3AW. It's 5 to 12.